So I'm going to show you how to adjust the valve clearance on Briggs & Stratton Intec 19.5 motor. So I have the spark plug removed utilizing uh, an extra push rod that I have. I'm going to stick this in the spark plug hole and I'm going to rotate the engine clockwise uh, until we reach top dead center, which top dead center should be when this rod is extended out all the way. All right, so that's out all the way. So now I'm pretty certain that the engine's at top dead center. From here, what I'm going to do is start to reinstall the rockers. Now, it's important to note that on the top of the valve, there should be a metal cap like so. There is one on the intake, again the lower, and there is one on the exhaust valve. So, let's reinstall the exhaust rocker. I just want to make sure that this uh, exhaust push rod is in its proper position, which it is. Install this like so. Install the nut. And it's also important to note in the middle of this nut, there is a locking torque screw. That is, let me double check the size here, that is a T20. So before I uh, installed this nut, I just ensured that this T20 was loosened up to the edge of that holding nut. Now I'm gonna install the lower rocker for the intake. Again, there's a T20 in there that we need to loosen up. And I like to loosen those up to about where they're just flush with the top of the nut. So now what we're going to do, in between the rocker and that cap for the intake valve, we're going to utilize a 4 thou feeler gauge and we're going to insert this in between that cap and the rocker. May have to loosen this nut a little bit. But on the intake valve, we want 4 thou of clearance, and on the exhaust valve, we're shooting for 6 thou of clearance. So I'm just going to make this nut a little bit tight. And it probably is better to do this when the engine's hot. However, because I'm repairing one of the push rods, that's just not going to happen. So, because I know that is set at 4 thou, what I'm going to do is take my T20 Torx, and we are going to screw down this T20 and that should prevent this nut from backing off. So I'm going to use a box wrench just to hold this in place. That feels tight. Double check with our feeler gauge one more time. And the intake is set at 4 thou. So now we'll do the exhaust. So same thing with the exhaust, I'm going to take this feeler gauge, 6 thou, put it in between the rocker and that cap on the end of the valve. We'll tighten this nut, we'll take our T20, tighten up the Torx inside this nut, hold it in place. Uh, I'm using a 5 8 inch box wrench. Get that good and tight. Loctite probably would not be a bad idea. But then again, these valves should be adjusted approximately once a year. We'll double check it one more time with our feeler gauge. Feels good and tight at 6 thou. And then I'm just going to rotate the engine manually just to ensure that everything's functioning properly. Which looks good. Beautiful. I'm confident that those valves are properly adjusted now.